Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Thursday, September 17th, 2015, and I'm Leanne McAdoo. Here's what's coming up tonight. Tonight, highlights from Operation Money Bomb 2015 as info warriors across the globe unite to take the operation to the next level. This is urgent. InfoWars means just what it says. It's about information, not propaganda. Who else is going to put Patriot Television on worldwide? Who else is going to fight the New World Order? Who else is going to tell you there's cancer viruses in the vaccines and that they're going to have CIA operatives brainwashing the local TV station people into taking over? Plus, Donald Trump links vaccines to autism during the GOP debates. Donald Trump is making an epic statement about the connection of autism and vaccines. Two years old, two and a half years old, the child, a beautiful child, went to have the vaccine and came back and a week later got a tremendous fever. All that plus much more up next on the InfoWars Nightly News. We've reached a critical juncture in the globalist program. That's why we're launching Operation Money Bomb 2015. And with the money we raise from this, we will be able to stay on the satellites and get on cable stations across North America, reaching tens of millions of more people right at the time they're receptive and looking for answers. So join us this September 16th and 17th. We're charging up, getting ready, and going in. This is a different kind of question. Let's hear this. Really damaged our inner cities. Not only do the drugs damage them, we damage them again by incarcerating them and then preventing them from getting employment over time. So I don't think that the federal government should override the states. I believe in the Tenth Amendment, and I really will say that the states are left to themselves. I want to give that. Now they're going to go to Chrissy. I guarantee you. You called a hypocrite uh, an opportunity to respond. Do you want to identify that person? Well, I think if we left it open, we could see how many people smoked pot in high school. <laughs> is there somebody you were specifically thinking of? Well, you know, the thing is... He was is talking that, about me. Yeah, I was talking That's about... That's what I thought, so, but well, I wanted let, let him to say it. Well, I wanted to make, wanted to make me... it easier for him, yeah. okay. and I just did. Governor Bush, please. So 40 years ago, I smoked marijuana. Uh, and I admit it. I'm sure that other people might have done it. <laughs> now this is the true confessions part of, of the reality TV people. show. My mom's not happy that I just did. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But here's the deal. Least, he should have lost his right to vote. He should have been he put in jail for 20 years. At least he didn't years. lie and say he didn't inhale. Drugs that goes way beyond marijuana. What goes on in Colorado, as far as I'm concerned, that should be a state decision. But if you look at the problem of drugs in this in this society today, it's a serious problem. Rand, you know this because you're campaigning in New Hampshire like all of us, and you We've see the exacerbated of heroin, the overdoses of heroin that's taking place. People's families are yes, are coming from Afghanistan. Yeah, which, which yeah. is why we're <laughs> protecting it. And who's guarding those it? opium fields? Right. Yeah, that no vacuum just... there except in uh, some noses and yeah. uh, 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 hypodermic needles, right? Yeah. Drug courts to give people a second chance. That's the best way to do this. But let, let me respond. The thing is, is that in Florida, Governor. Bush campaigned against medical marijuana. That means that a small child like Morgan Hintz that has 500 seizures a day is failing on nine traditional medications, is not allowed to use cannabis oil, and that if they attempt to do that in Florida, they will take the child away, they will put the parents in jail, yes. and that's what that means. If you're against allowing people to use medical marijuana, you'll actually put them in jail. Ray, and actually, wrong, under the current circumstances, this. kids who that's, had privilege that's like a lie, Jeff. Don't go to jail, but the poor kids in our inner, lying, inner cities go to jail. I don't think that's fair, and I think that we need to acknowledge it, and it is hypocritical to still want to put poor people in jail. I don't want to put poor people in jail, Rand. Well, here's you, the deal. You, 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 you put yeah, more you know, people in jail. In jail. Yeah. Yeah. When the legislature passed the bill to deal with that very issue. We have more issue, people in jail than China does. They've got four times the population, five times the population. Many people under mandatory minimum. Not his daughter. Yeah, not his daughter, not him. 
But let's, that means you'll put people in jail. No, he'll put sick right people in jail, but of course, when he uses it recreationally, it has no consequences. That's true. Go ahead, Christine, I mean, please. You know, I, I enjoyed the interplay. Thank you, gentlemen. I, I just say this. I'm the prosecutor. You know, first off, <laughs> I want to put everybody in jail. Is the first state in the nation that now says if you are a non-violent, oh, non-dealing drug user, that you don't go to jail for your first offense. You go to mandatory treatment. You see, I think we Jake, ought to I'm put mandatory treatment for people and I overeat. Think you need to be pro-life <laughs> for more than just the time in the womb. It's, it's, it gets a lot tougher. It's, when it's they not get out his fault. He doesn't have any control. It's the spoon's fault. The, the spoon right. and fork force its that way into his mouth. <laughs> and we should jail he, the is farmers, now, he is now a result <laughs> of having, you know, these dangerous spoons and forks coming out. I think we should ban spoons and forks so we can stop obesity because it's not about self-control. That's right. What about chopsticks and straws, though? Mm. Uh, I need my sushi. <laughs> we should jail the farmers who grew the food for uh, for Chris Christie as well. Oh, you know they Except I think he got Twinkies. I, mean, yeah, I think he ate a they want to jail you if you transport the raw milk across state lines. That's so right. They're already halfway yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, you may respond, and then I'll bring in you, Ms. Fiorina. People ask him how he's going to shut down uh, from Subway. Well, and the point is, you don't have to smoke marijuana. And the way that they're using it now in pills and things like that, it's not a gateway drug. It's... It's just, would go into I get so frustrated with that. If you're breaking any federal law on marijuana, even though the state law allows it, he would put you in jail. Yes. If right. a young mother is trying to give her child cannabis oil for medical marijuana for seizure treatment, he would put her in jail if it violates federal law. I would let Colorado do what the 10th Amendment says. He can shake said. his head no, but that's this exactly, that's Rand exactly Paul is said. exactly right for it. He said it out of his own mouth. Yep. Crime was supposed to be left to the states. Colorado's made their decision, and I don't want the federal government interfering and exactly. putting moms in jail who are simply trying to get medicine for their kids. And, and Senator Paul right, and we've had plenty of families moving perfect. to Colorado. In Jersey, but. We have medical marijuana. Rand Paul's not perfect, but man, he is nailing it in this, this issue. Is not medical marijuana. He's this nailing goes it. Much further step beyond. This is recreational use of marijuana. This is much different. And so while he'd like to use a sympathetic story to, to back up his point, it doesn't work. I'm not against medical marijuana. We do it in New Jersey, but I am against the recreational use of marijuana. If he wants to change the federal Why? law, get Congress to How about the recreational use of Twinkies and get a president to yeah, sign. Yeah, just think about all the Going marijuana edibles binge. that you're denying yourself, <laughs> Christy. It's not your decision. There's nothing in the Constitution that allows you to do it, Christy. Contradicts the federal Where's your law. prohibition He's amendment? He's saying he will send the federal government in and he will enforce right. the federal law. That's not consistent with the Tenth Amendment. It's not consistent with states' rights, and it's not consistent with a conservative vision for the country. I don't think we not should be sending the, the federal police in to arrest a mother and separate them from their child for giving a medicine to their child for seizures. And, and Jake, I, I, I want to bring in Ms. Fiorina. I want to bring in Ms. Fiorina. It's been done over and over again, Christy, by I people like you. Hope that I am the only person on this stage who can say this, but I know there are millions of Americans out there who will say the same thing. My husband Frank and I buried a child to drug addiction. Oh my God. So, yeah. that to do we with must marijuana? invest more. In yeah, what kind of drug? Overdose of marijuana or what? I don't know. I agree with states' rights, but we are misleading young people when we tell them that marijuana is just like having a beer. It's not. And the marijuana okay. that kids are let me Let me chime in here. How many people have buried a child or a family member or a parent because of the war on drugs? Because police, SWAT team killed them. Mm -hmm. Innocent people, even people who were smoking something recreationally. Is that, should that be a death sentence in America? Right. And we need to understand that this war on drugs came from a United Nations agenda, just like Agenda 21. They created an agenda in 1961, complete with four schedules. Schedule one drugs were drugs that said they had no medical use whatsoever. Marijuana, marijuana. was put into that. And the fact that they have medical marijuana exemptions puts a lie to the fact that marijuana is still a schedule one, but it goes worse than that, worse than that. We have two constitutional amendments out of 20 something that are about prohibition. We had one that made alcohol, prohibited alcohol, that didn't help anybody. We have people who are dying every year from alcohol overdoses. College students every fall will go to college, get away from their parents and overdose on alcohol. We could tell sob stories about that. It's a very sad situation. But alcohol prohibition did not stop it, it made it worse. Right. And it was done though with a constitutional amendment because we used to have people that gave a flying whatever about the Constitution. We don't have anybody like that anymore. They could care less what's in the Constitution. Where's their constitutional amendment? The constitutional amendment with, with, with 10 and with nine 
Uh, those amendments say that the government doesn't have any powers that weren't directly given to them. We just had these guys quote that about certain issues, but not about the war on drugs, not about the UN's war on drugs. This is a UN agenda that these conservatives are pushing on you. It has killed millions of people in America and across the world. Far more than that, look at the war in, in Mexico. That is a war on drugs. You want to talk about all the violence coming across? Let's talk about the roots in the war on drugs. That war on drugs, these people have pushed from the UN has created the violence in Mexico. Tens of thousands of people have died there. More people have died there than in Afghanistan. And you want to talk about these dangerous drug cartels coming across? They were created by our war on drugs. That's the truth of what's going on here. It's far worse than uh, what they're talking about. Rand Paul did a great job with that. Uh. It's great to see him lay that, uh, that, uh, that down on uh, Jeb Bush and on Chris Christie. The privilege of Jeb Bush and the criminality of that prosecutor Chris Christie, that disgusting. Yeah, I mean, I the war on drugs has definitely yeah, he, destroyed he, a lot of families and, and their futures. He's almost worse than uh, Lindsey Graham. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, Chris Christie <laughs> is one of those guys, when, when I see him, it really upsets my stomach to, to close to the level of a Hillary Clinton or Lindsey Graham. Yeah, Just absolutely. out of control. And the fact that Carly Fiorini is going to come in there and start bringing up how she lost someone due to addiction when it probably is something like heroin crack, cocaine, something like that. It's not pot. They're diverting from it. It's a bait and switch. We're like, okay, look at this. We're talking about pot. Let me, let me go over here to this extreme thing that happened. It yes. takes away from the focus about mm. the positive uses for marijuana. The reason they don't want right. you to have it is because it works. Yeah. And they don't want you to have something that you can grow in your backyard that can help you or your child. Yeah, and has Rand so Paul's many different talking. uses. And meanwhile, the opium is like one of the number one ingredients in most of the pharmaceutical drugs that they push on people. And they push on troops that deploy. Right. When they're under extreme amounts of stress and pressure <laughs> and combat scenes, scenarios, they push opium products on them, and then when they bring them back home, they go, hey, we're going to start doing urine tests. Mm. If you if you test positive for any kind of opiates, we're going to kick you out, take your benefits, and everything you just did for your country is out the window. Meanwhile, illegals are going to come in. They're going to get health care. They're going to get education. They're going to get treated like heroes when the heroes are being drugged up by the government. Arrest. This is Germany. <laughs> the Stasi has been hired. Oh, here You're comes Alex. You're not allowed <laughs> I knew he would be making an the appearance. illegal alien invasion from the Middle East or anywhere else. <laughs> Europe's free. That's why you're arrested, Joe Biggs. You're now under EU control. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is the 28-hour <laughs> money bomb from uh, InfoWars, the 2015 <laughs> money bomb. We're trying to reach 400 million people trying to raise a million dollars. We just had a contribution. Uh, they brought in to me a $500 contribution from Rila N. Rila N in California. Thank you so much, Rila. Thank you so much for supporting yeah. us with that. That's a, a large donation. Most of our donations are very small and we appreciate that. That's the kind of support that uh, we see happening all the time. A lot of small donations. Thank you so much again. That was $500 from Rila N in California. If you can contribute, that number is 888-253. 3139. Again, that's 888 253 3139. We also have, if you're not able to just make an outright donation, uh, we will help you as a sign of our appreciation for your support. In the past, we were offering discounts. We're offering free shipping throughout the 28 hours of the Money Bomb, as well as discounts. We have a special discount, uh, special products that are going on discount right now. We have 30% off of Super Male Vitality until 10 p.m. Let's go back to the debate and see what's going on here. We got a back and forth between Don Trump and uh, Chris. When John Kennedy was elected Chrissy, Chrissy. president in 1960, it was 26%. <laughs> Harvard and Dartmouth says that Social Security is going to go insolvent in seven to eight years. So what I say is very simple. We need to save this program for the good people out there who have paid into the system and need it. And if that means making sure that folks like Donald and many of us on this stage don't get it, that's the right thing to do. Because here's what Hillary Clinton's going to want to do. She's going to want to put more money into a system that has already lied to us and stolen hey, from us. Let's this understand that Social Security was a lie from the beginning. The first place that it was put in was in Germany by uh, Bismarck. He picked the age of 65 because that was a life expectancy at the time. You understand the Ponzi scheme involved in this? And so now we got Chris Christie and these other guys. They keep raising the age every year. That's the way they're going to do it because guess what? People are starting to collect some on it. We can't have that happen. Starting to live longer. Exactly. Why should we mean test something that they've been taking 15% out of our payroll the entire time that we've worked, especially on the lower end, on the poor?